like yeah. 35, like right now it's warm. Nice. So oh yeah, I know, I walked here in this, I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> the only thing was like, early, I don't know if it was, uh, I got here like 12 or something, and it, the wind was just attacking me. Oh, really? And I was like, ah, yeah, I had my brother, and I was like, nah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, okay. <laughs> it, was, it was rough. Hey, Welcome to the Dub H Podcast. My name is Chris Enriquez. I am one of your tech directors. Today I'm joined by... Hi, I'm Elle. This is my second se second semester choreographing. Wendell. This is my seventh plus semester choreographing. I'm Bryn, and this is my second time choreographing. Welcome. If you all couldn't tell, this is the, the Dub H Choreographer Podcast. The last podcast was the Innovation Podcast. This one is the Choreographer Podcast. So, um, why did you all decide to become choreographers? If anybody wants to start, it doesn't have to go down the line. <laughs> and y'all can like, y'all don't have to look at the cameras mm -hmm. anywhere. If you want to look at the painting behind you for some reason. I have an answer. I want to talk you to that answer? guy. Yeah, I was kidding, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer, Bryn? I was actually peer pressured to do it. The first time I did it with a friend and she peer pressured me to do it. Because I'm really self-conscious of myself and my choreography. Even though I love to choreograph, I like always need that like push to get going. So that was the reason I choreographed the first time, and then I'm currently choreographing alone. And I, well, the reason I wanted to do it is because I really like Spanish reggaeton music, and I kept listening to it thinking, like, why has nobody done a dance to this yet, you know? So I was like, well, maybe I should. And then I was like, no, someone needs to push me into it, you know? So then I had a dancer, like, that was previously in one of my dances, and she told me, like, that, that dance was, like, one of her favorites that she had ever been in, that I have to choreograph my last semester, and I was like... Okay, so that pushed me over the edge, and I'm so glad that I did it. Like, right now, I'm like, my, my self-conscious level has definitely decreased because of this, so. That's good. Personal that. growth. Yes. Woo! Yay! <laughs> As one of your dancers, I'm happy. Oh, yes, it's such a fun dance. I love it. My mom's going to be so happy. I know, I'm excited <laughs> now. Oh, I was just trying to comprehend how she said reggaeton. It's like so <laughs> rich. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, why did I choreograph? I mean, honestly, so like Devon Lewis and Josh and Tin, like watching them, I was like, I'm finna try that. And I tried it. And the first semester, I remember it went kind of, I, and I like made like critiques, but like as I keep doing it, I practice it because it's one of those like, if you can't explain it, you don't know what you're doing either. Right. Um, and then after a while, I just kind of took like the methods from like the ones that I liked. So with Josh and Devon especially, a lot of think on the fly moves. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, we're just gonna see what practice is gonna bring. Um, and then after that, I was just more of uh, I found myself having a lot of intro to dub age dancers. So that was nice in terms of I w I felt like a gateway of like this is how the dub age culture should be. So it was very welcoming. So a lot of people yeah. that went through my dance, they either end up staying. Um, or if they felt like they were going to be kicked out because their behavior was not acceptable, they would just filter themselves kind of out, which was kind of nice too. Um, so that's how it just kind of felt. And it was actually like really cool to see that um, this is the first semester where I have uh, I'm cool choreographing with Kristen, and there's like more than 15 people. So it was like overwhelming, but overwhelmingly awesome at the same time. So it's like, oh, ye, what are we finna do? Um, but yeah, so it's, just, it's like a little bit of personal growth. A little bit of club development, mm. and it's like just seeing like what I can do. So it's a nice hobby that I enjoy now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the newbies, who were Josh Tim? And the newbies? Yeah, for like people who like don't know who those, who those oh, are. Oh, so like if there was a dubbish Hall of Fame, right? So like <laughs> we should you start that. Do you sure. we really? <laughs> should, I've been advocating for two years now. No one was thinking <laughs> up on it. But uh, those three are individuals who have, I would say, high charisma. Um, solid dance uh, talent and also creativity. Um, Devon Lewis, nine times out of ten, he has a snapback on, very thin, very, I don't know what the dance style you would describe it, but he's very like hard hitting on beats and aggressive. Mm -hmm, right. Josh is the same way, except he's a little more built. Um, he's also, I would say, more urban, so for like the street ish earth style, that's kind of him. Tin was just very goofy. But also very relaxed. He's out in Cali right now. I think trying to be a monk. Last I checked, yeah, that's what I said. Um, <laughs> so like, yeah, like honestly, like they're like my three favorite people. And if y'all watch this, I hope all's well. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope I see y'all again soon. Keep on hunting, all good stuff. And if you still don't know, I'll find a video for y'all to follow and whatnot.
Very cool. And my answer is not that exciting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell your stuff short, Elle. Come on. I did it last semester, and nothing too bad happened. So <laughs> no, I thought I might as well try it. <laughs> that's such a solid answer. <laughs> Um, I had a really amazing dancers last semester, and they're like, "Oh, are you gonna do this again? Like, I hope to see it again." And that like meant the world to me. So, I was like, "All right, yeah, let's go again. Let's let's see if we can make some improvements." And I don't know. It's just been great. This amount of support they've given me, just like Bren said, it's really helped me like kind of come out and be a lot more outgoing. Because when asked the question, "Are you introverted or extroverted?" Um, I usually say I'm just awkward. So <laughs> we're <Same. laughs> we're just working towards that. But yeah, Dub H is amazing. Um, this is, yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Uh, choreographing. Like, so I'm going to answer this question too. Yeah. Um, so I've choreographed, this is the fourth time I've choreographed, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, because it was with Carolyn, then with Sonia, technically, like by myself, but like she didn't officially do it. Right. And then it was with Carolyn again last semester, and now it's, yeah, this is the fourth time. So the first time I choreographed was because it was, I'd been in the club for two semesters. And um, my, my first semester choreographer that I'd ever done, I only did one dance in my first semester, and it was with Anne Deeseth. She's now Anne Geiger. I always talk about her on the podcast. Um, but she was the kind of person that was, she like did extra practices twice a week, and I went to them those two times. Wow. And it was, um, if you all know the Dove H Mom, Barb, mm -hmm. we were friends in that dance. That was her first dance. Mm -hmm. And so we would both go every like every extra practice and like work on the choreo because I had never danced before and Barb had said that she'd never danced before either and I looked so incompetent. I was like I have videos still. It was bad. I didn't know how to body roll and I didn't know how to like pop my leg in. I was just like come so far. I I like so Sonia who was I was friends with freshman year because of the George Washington Carver program. Mm -hmm. It's like said that like two years later she was like you just like you got so much better and I was like yes but the reason I choreographed was because and the following semester I did her dance a second time she was like you know like I want to see you your senior year choreograph I want to see you do it I want to see you do it and so the next semester I was like why do I have to wait until senior year I'm gonna do it now I'm gonna do it for <laughs> Anne and I did and I choreographed and it was um it was a learning experience and it was like I we had 12 dancers and most of them were just like already our friends, but like they were so it was like so much fun and it was like so rewarding to see it like happen on stage. Like I watch it now and I'm like, Krista, you shouldn't have come up with that movement. Like why did you do that? Why was that an artist like what why was that choice for? Like what? But um like I I'm so glad I got to do it again with Caroline again last semester because that like every semester that I've done it has just been like I've loved mainly the people and like that's like what I wanted to do was emulate what Anne was for me. Mm -hmm. which was someone who introduced me to dance mm -hmm. and made it so much fun. And, like, that's what I want to do for everyone. Mm -hmm. like, just have everybody have a great time. And everybody has a great time at our dance. Our, 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 oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's oh. like, every time I'm like, yes! And people are screaming and they're having fun. I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. do that more. So yes. that's, like, that's why I wanted to choreograph is because I love people. Okay, real yes. talk. You choreograph to often, right? Huh? Often? To often? Yeah. No. No? I don't know, because now I have, like, in my head, Bentley. Oh. I remember going like this, I'm like, this was yeah. a Kristen move. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was, Sonia just came out with a move. It was, um, that was Six Feet Under. Ah, uh, there we go, I don't go. I'm, I'm musically illiterate these days, so I'm apologizing. Yeah, so I just remember, there's, like, certain moves, I'm like, this person did it, but I can't think of the song, and then I hear the song, but I can't think of the person, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh, that's why, like, what the song is like, yeah, I do this often. Mm -hmm. That was, that was, that was V. Was it Grace and V? I, I, I thought it was Grace Jack and V. TBH. Might be. I think it was Jack. It was Jack and V for that one. Maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. I know it was. I know it was V. Yeah, it was definitely a V thing. <laughs> um, okay. So next question then. Uh, what's your creative process look like? <laughs> I wake up and say, "Let's figure it out," <laughs> and go like this. I literally go like this every time. I'm like, "Who put it on the song?" I was like, "I just do it." I just do a process of elimination. And whatever mm -hmm. move I continuously do, I'm like, all right, we go just do that move and just go from there. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's exactly what Josh and Devon would do as well, so that's where I got it from. So I'm going to give them a shout out for that. <laughs> Mine's very similar. I, I sort of just play the music and like freestyle to it. 
and like I always have something recording me because sometimes I'll like do a move that I like and then I'll immediately forget what happened. So I, I like just record. Is that what so you do? Smart. No. Oh. <laughs> Every time I always tell myself like, yeah, I should record myself doing this because like I have so many videos oh, of myself doing this. Oh my god, that's oh. smart. I'm learning. No, I'm learning. One hundred percent. Like every time like me and Wendell like I've always I've always choreographed with someone the only time I've ever choreographed by myself have been in workshops mm -hmm. and so like we'll be doing something together and then like I'll be like do that again and they're like I don't know what I did <laughs> <laughs> like, and I, so and we do that to each other all the time it's like wait do that again it's like what I, I do <laughs> dang yeah yeah Sometimes it's stressful because I feel like I like go, I have moods where I like can't come up with anything at all and then I have moods where I can query off like three minutes, you know. It's so you kind of just have to too. let it, like you can't put yourself, or me at least, you can't put yourself on like a time crunch, otherwise that's like oh, going to hinder the creativeness, yeah. you know. So just like, I, I usually block off like an hour every Sunday to just like see if I'm feeling creative and then, you know. So. Mm -hmm. And definitely like start early too, like I started trying to think of stuff during Christmas break for the semester, so. Mine? Okay, it's like, you guys, I wish I, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna start this exclamation over. <laughs> so, when mine, so I'll pull up the lyrics to whatever, like I'll decide, like I'll listen to the song a couple times and see like what part I want, and then I'll like find the lyrics to that, then I have them on one side, and then I will like write down the moves that go with it next to it, and then I highlight it so it like gets marked off, so when it's like completed, it's all like yellow. And I just, yeah, I just keep going. So that's kind of nice for me because, like, I kind of choreograph the way I take tests. I, like, skip around a lot. So, like, being able to be like, oh, I like this lyric with this move, but I don't know what goes here yet. Like, I, it kind of helps me. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I do something similar mm -hmm. where I write down the counts. And I, like, if I'm doing, mm -hmm. um, it's, like, a mix with a lot of things. So, like, this is the first time ever that I've exclusively choreographed a dance without counts. Mm -hmm. And like largely, I think it's because you don't use counts. It's so like I, to match you, I, <laughs> I don't, I haven't been using counts. But like, I'll write down like one through eight on the side, and then I'll write down the lyrics with those counts, like where mm -hmm. the lyrics go, and then I'll, I'll write down the moves that I want in those specific areas. Yeah. And that's how I did it entirely for like the workshop on the dance was mm -hmm. slide through, mm -hmm. which is also probably why I like I kept messing up <coughs> because I didn't do it full out. I just thought of the moves and wrote them down and did it the morning of, like tried it, which was bad. But um, no, out. like it. Like, that's, yeah, like, it's so interesting hearing about everybody's, like, different ways that they think of things, because a lot of the time it is just like, oh, let me just, like, listen to the music, let me do it, and, like, let me see how it goes. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely how I've done in the past, but, like, yeah, that, that process of, like, writing it down really, like, helps remind me, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, because I, I'm always with lyrics. I hope that's not frustrating for my dancers, but that's how, like, those are easier for me to remember. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. And people eventually, yeah. like, for the most part, will learn the lyrics. Unless you're doing, like, mm -hmm. a designer song, then, like, <laughs> that's out the window. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, what are some of your favorite moves that you've choreographed? Do you have to, like, show them? If you want to show them, you can. <clears throat> but if you want to think about them, you can. I gotta go way back. That we choreographed? No, just in general, like any of your, any time that you choreograph. Oh, was, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a song, I was just like... It can be moves and that can also be parts of your dance, because like definitely still one of my favorite things that I've ever, I've ever done was in um, my fall 2017 dance with Sonia, where everyone was dead, and then everybody came back up and they had the masks up. Ooh, that, that was that's still one dope. of my favorite things that, that I've cool. done. And then also at the very end, when everyone went, <laughs> and they took off their masks and like, <laughs> and it came up. Like, that's oh, still yeah. one of my favorite things that I've done. That was nice. See, like, I don't even think I can take credit for my favorite parts of my dances, <coughs> because there were things that I'm like, all right, guys, I'm kind of having, like, a thought here, like, let's see it, and then they'll, my dancers make it so much better. I'm like, all right, well... Congrats, like, but like, yeah, because there was like one, I think I mentioned it in like a past interview, but there, in one of my dances, we all just were in a circle, and we sat down, and we pushed off, and one of our girls in the middle just death dropped, and it was really sick. That, that, that was, was fun. really awesome. That was really I liked yeah. that. that was but that so wasn't awesome. even like me, like that was 100% like my dancers helped me out, like, yeah, I can't take credit for that. Also, I liked when I made them do the little, I had a bunch of cheerleaders, and I made them do a uh, spotted, like, tuck thing but yeah that was fun but yeah. 
I mean, it's still things that like you conceptualize and you ask your dancers to do, and then they yeah. kind of like just because they put their own flair on it doesn't mean that it yeah. wasn't it wasn't accredited to you. Yeah, it was a good old time. I'll keep <laughs> selling myself short. I don't like it. <laughs> I just I credit where credit is due. I have awesome dancers and I love them. All right. <laughs> You can't tell me. You can't tell me that drop is it. Oh uh, yeah, I, just, I got three though. That's the problem. You can keep it. It's just yeah, a I bunch know. of them. You can keep. Yeah. I said two. She said two. I like it's okay. All right, bet. So the drop is on there because the and the drop for me honestly because the drop was like oh this is fire. But mm -hmm. seeing the dancers' faces and people at showcase and people at progress show, I was like who finna hate on this move? <laughs> like people was too high for this move. But like. The other one was is a formation from a dance I did a while back, and it was done by Logic and I forget this other dude's name. I think it's Lugs, but I don't know if that's right. But um, it, it was a Logic verse in his song of um, 2020, and it was like this expansion thing we did. Oh, I and, remember that. Yeah. And this, oh, the photographs are like, oh my gosh! <laughs> and I'm like, this squad looks so good. It was lit. And then there's another part, there's another, I did an all guys one, and it was when, like, you looked a little, like, more thuggish. Yeah, Which I, I think a lot of people too. were, like, eh, about the whole thing, but I didn't care. But, like, there's a part where we're all, like, leaning in, like, different moves, and, like, I'm not that muscular, but in the photos, I definitely look that muscular, and, like, all the people of color, basically, in that dance, look, like, it was like, ooh, you look good, <laughs> so, like, it was, like, kind of those moves, but, like, I like the moves where the dancers, like, look their best, and that's, like, the ones I appreciate, but... The drop for sure and the expansion are like the top two and the close to contenders is the all guys. Like most of that choreo was like the most authentic me, I think. Oh yeah, I remember. And that. it was really oh, it's just I was so proud of Whoop <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can censor it. Oh I'm trying. <laughs> all the other stuff yeah. All the stuff that I came up with there was like authentic so I was like I was proud of everything I was doing. Um but there's like three photograph scenes where like all the dudes are like this is fire because we just look good. I thought it was sharp, and whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a specific thing. I've been like trying to mark my dance in my head to decide what my favorite thing is. Except for I have like a general, like my favorite moves. Like I never realized that they were my favorite moves until I watched. A, like along the same vein as what you guys have, are saying. Like when you watch the dancers and then you're like, whoa, like that landed. Like mm -hmm. that was so good. And it's like ends up being the simplest things. Like. Like oh, two yeah. walks to the front, like yeah. that hit the music really well, or something mm -hmm. like that, and it's like everyone's like just on the same page for it, or yeah, it doesn't. It's never like the most complicated move. It's always like the most simple thing, or like yeah. an idea that you had, or something yeah. like that. So yeah, I've had a couple of those moments where you like finally get to watch after you've been teaching, and you're like, I remember when last semester. I was gonna say that yes. you reminded me. Yes. How can I forget activate from yes. last semester? Yes. Because I literally was crying. I was like, I had to stop myself from <laughs> Your crying. reaction was like the best part of my day that day. You were like, oh my god. So like, like, now I have to explain it to people. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so for last semester with Activate, I had to hurt, I heard the song from a meme. Um, because Nick asked me, he was like, where did you hear that song? And I was like, oh, I heard it from like a meme or whatever. Because it only has like 17,000 plays or, or like something like that on Spotify. Mm -hmm. And um, I had this idea in like, late February, like early March, I was like, I want this to happen. I want people to like go out and then like somebody in the front like pushing them out. Mm -hmm. oh, I and that. when I was like, I was like, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Like with the hit, with the hits, with the shoulders, I was like, this is gonna look awkward as heck. Like, I really hope it looks cool. And then when I watched everybody, I was like, oh, and I just screamed yeah. and I was like, it's so funny. I need to not cry. <laughs> so it, was like, yeah. it was like nine months in my head that I finally saw what it looked like yeah. mm -hmm. and it was just it was absolutely fantastic cool that was yeah. that was probably one of the that was one of the more rewarding times of like yeah. it's always yeah. like when, you, when you're like I want to see this like what you right. said yeah. what it looks like and then everybody does it and you're like wow it's like better than you could have ever imagined <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 exactly like, when it oh, lands yes. that feeling uh, yeah. oh I was done huh I was like, last practice I, yeah I tried something that how we get on we'll see it lands, but I liked it, and I was like jumping up and down. And they're probably like, "All right," I'm like, "No, it." 
Yeah. I'm just, it was like, was it, it like when we first choreographed, like when you come up with things like that and you see it, mm -hmm. like you understand the previous choreographers where they would do the same thing and they'd be right. all lit. Like I remember yeah. Josh and Tim like getting so excited in the middle of people's practices and like high fiving each other and just being so disruptive. And at first <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Like I was that like uptight dude. And then as soon as I would start doing the same thing, mm -hmm. like, oh, this is what they need. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just excited. as high. It's so crazy. It's like I relate. I understand. I forgive <laughs> those. Uh, la, 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 la. Good job, guys. And then just keep going. Like, oh. Okay. You know how when like you try to like draw something or paint something and it doesn't look like what you want it to look like, like you have a picture in your head and it's not that. It's like the opposite. It's like you have it in your head and then the people actually do it. It's like. Right. Maybe that's what like, like so artists feel like. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what like real artists feel like. I don't know. Yeah, that was. It's a good metaphor. Oh, <laughs> we can we can move. that was some great conversation. We can move to the, to the game if you all. Like. Oh yeah, I like games. So pick up. You can, yeah, yes, yes. Pick up everything. I just envelopes. I picked the envelopes because this is a reminder to pay your dues and have your envelopes in the dues. They're twenty dollars now, y'all. <laughs> also because we had a lot of dues in the. We had a lot of we had a lot of envelopes. So what you're gonna do is, uh, you wanna have it long ways, like I'm like sorry, horizontal. like like a hamburger. Hamburger. I was like hamburger, hot dog. Wait. Yes, is hamburger. This that's hamburger. Hamburger. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hot dog is. Why is hot? No one eats a hot dog. Never mind. <laughs> it's not important. It's not important. <laughs> okay, I get it. All right. So the way that this game is gonna work is I'm gonna play a line dance. Oh no. So wait, no, like the like the songs, like you know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Like you're gonna, I'm gonna play one of them, okay. and as fast as you can, you're gonna write down the name of it, and you're gonna show the audience. Oh, like a song? That's like it's the name of the song. Yeah. So like what? It okay. Is. So like I'm not, I don't have Stinky Leg on here, but if I started playing Stinky Leg, you'd be like, oh, that's that's that, and then you okay. write it down as fast as you can. Okay. okay. I like it. Show it. Yeah. Disclaimer: I can't spell that well, so ha. <laughs> <huh. laughs> All right. So, um, okay. Sorry, I just I need to look at this for a second. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Is there a prize? Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I just spelled L. <laughs> oh, you too I was much. like, I know how to, like, why do I know the dance and not the name? I'm like, I thought it was supposed to be like a Gloria Esteban song. I'm like, I wasn't like, ready for that. So I also right. want to explain, like, the purpose of this being, like, we're choreographers, and these are choreographed dances already to songs. So, like, oh. I was like, make that connection. Uh -huh. Got it. All right, so, All right. okay, that's helpful. So, that's a good game time. Game time. Zero, oh, one dough. Is at one and L is at zero. Oh, I left. Never, I should skip that one. That one's a Spanish song. I <laughs> know it. No. no. Wait, is this a Spanish one? Yeah. It's a Mexican song. I don't know. It. <laughs> I'm not gonna be disrespectful or even attempt to. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I have to look at another one to replace that one. Nope, that shouldn't be it either. It's fine, I'll just skip that. <laughs> Alright. Uh oh. 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 None of it, we just made fun of them so hard. Alright, so L is at one, Wendell is at one. Should I be reusing envelopes or are there enough for if, all these songs? Uh, you can reuse envelopes okay. if you want. Alright, yeah. so I just want um, to mix that out quick. Okay. If my brother was saw you, he'd shift his head like, you shame on the race, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright. Wait, it's called Watch Me. Yeah. Oh! What? 
<laughs> okay, okay respect it's on watch that. me in parentheses whip a name name, but the na the name of the song is yeah. Alright, alright. Okay, okay we got that on the on technicality. Alright. It's okay. Hey, I, was, I need a new one that this one's Yeah, okay. mine's a little bit. I was okay, trying to so be like, everybody is tied currently. Everybody is tied currently. That's respect on that one. I was like, oh. We okay. both were like whipping name and I was like, no, technicality. <laughs> alright, you ready? You ready? Okay. New Cuban, new Oh, I knew this one was coming. I should have written it earlier. Wait, I saw it first. Oh, you should be uh, showing you. <laughs> you should do both. If you can't do both, but like, just oh, whoever I see that like, fling their hand up first is gonna be it. So okay, just well. to start writing faster. <laughs> I know. I my handwriting is a joke right now. <laughs> it's a joke. We should have buzzers. I thought about that, but I was like, this is a like a more equitable way because like, right. there's no. I don't have any. Right. How many buzzers? Like I can just scream. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Running, just you <laughs> Also, the Cupid Shuffle is like, like if I hear it, it doesn't matter where I am, I stop and I have to do it. Right. I oh, is it? I do the complete opposite. I run away. Stop and just sit down. Oh, it's would you so hear the Cupid Shuffle? You don't like it? I don't I'm... like the Cupid Shuffle, and there's two other ones that you'll know if I don't like because I'll just shake my head so... like that. Oh, is it this... like the wobble? No, I love my wobbles. Oh, but no, yeah, that's well, not that's it. I'll... There'll be a story if it comes up. I promise you. Attempts. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you were very close. Uh, was, that was the, yeah, that's the actual motion one. So replay that's on that two one. To, two to L, two to Brynn, one to one to L. Alright, you ready? Yes. Yes. I should probably raise the volume on this too. Soldier boy. <laughs> I, yeah, same. I was like, and then I'm like, that's that, yeah. not it. And then I was like, wait. All right, three. I think I have. How many have there been? I don't even know. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, how many wins have we got? That determines how many you. Yeah. Yeah, that's eight. Okay. No, I was just making sure. Okay. Yeah. There's. Um, Ooh, I'm behind one. I gotta. One, two, three. I gotta There's step up, left. man. There's four left. Four left. Yes. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah. Hey. One those I hear like bopping to it. Teach me how to play Okay, Brynn, let me see that. Yep. yep. Dang it. Okay, the handwriting has improved. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we all took a lot longer on that one. Yeah. One yeah. was out here like. That's what I move. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm gonna write. Hold up. All right, I gotta all right, start. Alright, four, four to Brynn, three to Wendell, two to L. Oh, dang. Man, I'm coming back. Okay. All right, ready? All right. Oh wait, I have it twice. Whoops. Just. Hold, hold, hold up. Yeah. Oh, you know how to do that? Baby, 
can't remember what this is. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got it. That's not neat, though. Uh, yeah. I can read it. What are you writing? I'm making sure you can read it. Yeah, it's Juju on the beat. Oh, no. Oh, I had this at one point. I. Dang. Alright, so this is. I just want to do the dances. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, isn't that the part? I'm doing the wrong. I missed. So this uh, song, so off of that, there's a little one, um, hold up, try to, like, yeah, I gotta remember the song now. It's called Nook If You Buck. It's like a really gangstified version of that song. So that's why I knew this was like, Nook, if you buck, bar, nut. And it's like, ooh, it's like a real, like, gangsta leaning kind of song. So when this came out, I was like, ooh, this ain't it, what? <laughs> so I was, like, really shook about it. So then, like, all the older adults that I'm like, friends with and stuff were like, is it this one or is it this one? I was like, ooh. I ground with this one, but you bop with this one though. So it's like, ah, it's a mix of the two. So it's really funny. But I can never remember how to spell it. So it's like, yeah. You got it. You got it. I didn't miss it. Is this the last one? No, there's two more. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. man. Ooh. 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 There she goes. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As soon as she started going, and I was like, I'm not going to Yeah, I can't. Did you show the camera? This is really bad. I haven't thought about some of these songs in so right. long. So, L, if you get this next one, you would, everybody would be tied. It's a 4-4-3. Four, four, right, so wait, 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 wait. Do you guys, do you guys smell one. that? No. I smell sure. W. I smell Come back. W. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I don't get, so I don't do tiebreakers. I'm telling you right now. I don't do it. Well, I do tiebreakers. I don't do tie. That's what I meant to say. Oh, okay. so there's gotta be a winner. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay, all right. I have a good feeling about this. Alright. I don't. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. One so I was like, yes. <laughs> Thank you, cousins, for the <laughs> At one point, in my Instagram t name was Quan Queen. Fun fact. So I should have gotten Amazing. that. Oh. But dang. well done, everybody. I so let my pass down. Wendell at five, Bryn at four, and Ella at three. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today. I had a lot of fun. This was great. Uh, thank you all for watching the podcast. Uh, have yes. a great week, everybody. Bye. Ooh.